Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at the Lancaster 5 quart Dutch oven, which recently debuted the last week of September 2024. And if you guys have been following my channel, I've been reviewing the Lancaster line. They have a number 8, a number 10, a number 12, a number 4, and just now they've released their 5 quart Dutch oven, which I'm excited for. Okay guys, so what I've done so far is take it out of the shipping box and the first thing that I was greeted with was this card here. And the thing that I like about these cards is that they are handwritten. So this one does say, Luis, thank you so much for your continued support. We can't wait to hear what you think of our new Dutch oven, Megan. Thank you very much, Megan. I appreciate the handwritten letter. And the team also at Lancaster, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys for that. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna say is presentation so far this looks very beautiful everything is presented really well i like the lettering here that we see lancaster cast iron five quart dutch oven five quart dutch oven here in the front as well let's see and we got some information this one does say smooth and lightweight classic double handle self-basting lid pre-seasoned compatible with lancaster number eight cookware and i, I kind of like this because it reminds me of nutritional facts but this one does have the dimensions of it which is 10 and a half inches in diameter, four inches deep. The weight is 13.5 plus or minus. Volume is five quart and lid compatible with Lancaster number eight uh, cookware. Use on most heat sources, induction and radiant glass top, uh, gas, electric coil, campfire, oven and grill. So very versatile and I do like that you can use it with modern stoves. So if you have an induction stove, this will work great with that. And here we have the design on the underside. With that, let's just jump in into the unboxing. First time use. Your Dutch oven is pre-seasoned and ready to use in your kitchen. Use extra cooking oil and avoid cooking acidic foods like tomato sauce and white wine for the first dozen meals. So they do recommend that you break it in first. Obviously you can use it right out of the box, but they don't recommend that you use any acidic ingredients or a white wine. Uh, for the first dozen meals. Continued care. After cooking, wipe it out with a paper towel, rinse off any, or I'm sorry, rinse off and dry the Dutch oven thoroughly. If food is stuck, use soapy water and chainmail to clean. Your Dutch oven will darken as the seasoning builds and the cooking surface will feel as smooth as glass. If your Dutch oven looks blotchy or seasoning uh, comes off, keep using it. It will improve with time, heat, and oil. Very, very true. So, the thing with cast iron cookware is that it doesn't require much work. Um, obviously, there's a lot of uh, misconception in the sense of soap and seasoning process. Obviously, guys, I think the best thing that you should do is use your items and don't worry about the splotchiness that you'll see with the seasoning. It will even out as you use it. And that's what I've noticed with all the cookware that I own, uh, especially modern. Um, the Smithy is one of those. Smithy is very, very hard to get even, but after several years or after several uses, uh, you will get a great patina and a good seasoning and it, it just performs really well. So anyway, with that, let's take a look at the lid. They did a great job with the basting rings. I do like that. And the top here, very beautiful as well. Uh, one thing that I will say is that this is incredibly smooth. So not rough at all very very smooth i like the brass um, handle here and i like the raised lettering on this very reminiscent of the wagner wear or griswold dutch oven lids so you know props to them for keeping the vintage appeal which you know i do like a lot so so far the lid heavy but it feels great good quality all right the dutch oven itself let's take a look very exciting and oh you know what this is actually fairly lightweight i thought this was going to be a lot heavier but it is not so i like that um the bottom does feel yeah the bottom feels like it is thicker than the uh, side walls so great handle design i would say one of my favorites right now just the way you you it feels in the hand and the way you can hold it 
feels like it is very secure basically have better control especially with oven mitts uh, the inside very well machined very well polished and i do like that a lot so let's take a look at the underside looks just like the uh the skillets but this one does have a heat ring here and it is that's basically the only difference that i see uh, other than that i love the design the handles the weight I think this is going to be a, a great size Dutch oven. And as I mentioned, I do like that raised lettering. Very beautiful piece. Now, it is going to darken in. Right now, it's very light in color. But the more you use it, the better it's going to look and the better it's going to perform. That's not to say that right now it isn't ready to be used. I, I think what I'm going to do first is actually bake some sourdough bread. But with that, so far, overall impressions, I want to say that I'm very happy, very pleased with the uh, design and everything that they've done so props to Lancaster you guys knocked it out of the park with this Dutch oven as I mentioned the raised lettering the handles the brass cap or the brass knob here I'm sorry and just the overall design it's great I like it a lot so I'm excited to give this a go now I'll be posting a video uh, with the uh, Dutch oven and baking most likely a sourdough bread and we'll see how that does. But overall, I want to say that so far, it looks very promising. I do like this a lot. You guys have any questions let me know in the comments below and as always i appreciate your time thank you guys for watching